The following podcast will contain spoilers and explicit language. Hello and welcome to episode six of Yeah, It's That Bad. My name is Joel. And I'm Martin. Tonight's movie is 2001's Freddy Got Fingered, starring Tom Green, Rip Torn, Marissa Coughlin, Eddie K. Thomas, Harlan Williams, Anthony Michael Hall, Julie Haggerty, Drew Barrymore, and Shaquille O'Neal. Freddy Got Fingered is a 2001 comedy film directed, co-written by, and starring Tom Green. This movie currently holds an 11 on Rotten Tomatoes. How about a quick plot synopsis? Tom Green plays Gord Brody, a slacker who dreams of becoming an animator for cartoon shows. He is forced to move back in with his parents, but then refuses to leave. Along the way, he sexually pleasures various farm animals, licks open flesh wounds, accuses his father of molesting his brother, (laughs) goes scuba diving in a toilet, plays an organ with several sausages attached to it, which are suspended in midair, and does a bunch of other stuff that is too insane, offensive, disgusting, or weird to be mentioned here. That's not really a plot synopsis. That's just a, a list of, <laughs> of of activities, but that's the movie. Okay, Martin, what did you think of Freddy Got Fingered? As what? As as a movie? <laughs> yes. As a- <laughs> I mean, is it... Or what do I think of it just as like a, a social device? Yeah, in, in, <laughs> in your worldview, what do you think of this movie? <laughs> in my all-encompassing worldview, where do I place Freddy Got Fingered? I don't know if I even call it a movie. It's just like a long episode of Tom of the Tom Green show with a helicopter. You know, I've, I've, I've heard this movie. I've heard a lot of people say that this movie is way ahead of its time. And I kind of agree in one sense. I would call this the prototypical YouTube movie, right? Like this is YouTube before there was YouTube. It's just a series of stupid 10 minute skits like, you know, linked together. Yeah, this is if uh, Ray William Johnson or whatever got his own, uh, got oh, his own yeah, movie. Oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> that fucking guy. Cool, cool transition. It spins around in his movie. Yeah, this, th- yeah, th- definitely. This, this is the YouTube movie. You know, this is, there's a, a lot of movies out there that you could say, you know, this could go straight to video. No, this should have gone straight to YouTube, but it was, <laughs> <laughs> but this is way ahead of its time. <laughs> Please don't give Tom Green credit. <laughs> well, I guess we should start off. What's your history with Tom Green? It's the same as everybody else who's in their uh, in their mid twenties to early thirties. We uh, grew up watching the Tom Green Show. I guess like when we were teenagers or maybe a little younger. And he uh, went around saying what he was doing, and then doing my bum it. is on the chair. My bum is on the plane. No, no, but it's also like. I'm poking you, I'm poking you, I'm poking you, I'm poking you. And he would just do it. It was nonsensical humor that just didn't know when to stop. Like the joke was that it kept going and it was funny. And then I, I got sick and tired of it. And I think <laughs> so did the rest of the planet. And then he uh, disappeared into the uh, into obscurity doing radio show. Well, you know, you, you do have to give him credit though. He is a pioneer of sorts. Like That guy opened the door for a lot of the stuff that we have today. You got to give him that. For like what? For like Tim and Eric? Well, yeah, yeah, stuff like that. Like there, there wouldn't be that stuff on TV if it wasn't. You're right. You're right. All right. Adult Swim's entire brand of humor, I don't think, would exist if Tom, if the Tom Green Show didn't happen. That whole man on the street harassing random people. Oh, kind of thing. But he pioneered. But that's his. He did pioneer that. Wonder Shows and was the perfected best. It. Per- perfected it. <laughs> <laughs> back to the uh, back to the the task at hand. Okay, so the Tom Green Show. Freddy got fingered. Did you see this? This is the first time you saw this movie, right? Yeah, and it's the last time I'm going to see this movie. Okay. I actually saw this movie in theaters, in person, with a group of people. Fresh out of high school, we all went to go see it. My whole core group of friends. We were all like giddy and giving each other Yeah, high. we were, we were all at, we giving had each a, other high fives on the way We had a contact there. high. It was, we were like, yeah! Woo! Yeah, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> we were really excited. It came out on 420. I remember that to this day. you know, Because he likes Hitler. Hitler's birthday. Yeah, exactly. So it came out on that day, and we all went, and we saw this movie, and I'm pretty sure none of us liked it. Not a single one of us. <laughs> we, we walked out, and we were like, what the fuck did we just see? But despite the fact that none of us liked it, we would continue to reference this movie for a decade after we, would, we saw it. Like We would just, you know, my hooves, you know, stupid things like that. Was this, was this you with the tools? Yes, yes. None of the tools liked it. No, it was unanimous. Which is strange because very rarely is there a unanimous movie review from the tools. Yeah, me and, me and my friends, we are very different people. And uh, 
I we mean, almost, I, I don't even understand why they're friends. We, we, and that has been brought up many times. I mean, and this is before we, we devised the one to five rating system. Me and my friends, we, there was no rating system when we saw this movie. So we just had like <laughs> exasperated faces and hand gestures <laughs> to, to, to express ourselves with this one. But yeah, this movie was uh, really pushed us to our limits. Martin, what did you think? What, you, you saw this movie for the first time. While, while we were sitting there watching this movie, I, I would look over to you while we were watching it. And <laughs> well, I'm sure, I'm sure you remember my, my facial expressions on some of the scenes. I, they're pretty like, they're pretty Nicolas Cage-esque, I think. Yeah, you, you, you push it to the limit of, uh, did I, was I making facial, uh, facial expressions? Uh, you should have been in Bad Lieutenant. I should have been. <laughs> <laughs> the way you were acting here is great. He like he he jerks off he jerks off a fucking elephant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like a fire hose of cum hitting Rip Torn. Yeah, that's a that's a great thing. You um uh, <laughs> this movie really pushed the limit of what you can do with an animal. Na- name all the things that happen with animals in this movie. I can't. There's too many. I'm going to What he he got inside of like a roadkill deer, right? He jerked off a horse. Did he suck on a cow's udder? Did that happen? He did that at the end. Oh, all right. Um, he jerked off an elephant. I think that's it. Like the, the that's it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more. That's that's more than enough. I didn't want any of that in the movie. Actually, to be completely honest with you. Well, okay. What do you feel about Tom Green's style of comedy? It's not funny to me anymore. It was when I was younger. So we've we've come a long way since. Uh... Well, no. I I mean, like, if you were in middle school, would you laugh at this? Some of this stuff is timeless. So if I was twelve, probably I would still find this. Uh, Hilarious. That's what it is. I mean, maybe we're not the target audience for this. Movie critics definitely aren't. <laughs> Apparently the target audience for this movie. <laughs> but it broke even, right? Yeah, this movie cost like $4 million to make, and it made just above that. So it just made it. But still, you got to think of yourself like, how did this get made? How did this get made? You know, look, look at this thing. They gave him, uh, it looks like they gave him complete creative control, right? Yeah, they must have. I mean, how else could this have happened? I feel like uh, usually studios have have people that make sure the movie is quote unquote on track and it's doing well with test audiences and uh, it's looking because obviously movies are uh, are investments and uh, if 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 they're not running well, then usually they either they change the director or they. They do a bunch of things where they have to have like talks with the director or the actors to uh, to change the movie around. But none of that happened in this movie. No, they 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 get here's a ton of money, Tom Green. You're do whatever, hot. Do whatever you want. You're, you're you're a hot commodity. The kids love you. Go ahead, just go nuts. And uh, well, that brings up a good point. Was Tom Green like was was that a very unexpected thing for him to be successful? Nothing like that had happened before. His style of comedy, nobody, it just it didn't exist. Yeah, I guess so. So when they saw that happening, I guess a lot of the producers probably at MTV were like, what the fuck is going on? This isn't funny. At least it's not funny to me. But apparently everybody thinks it's hilarious. So let's just let them go with it because we don't get it. By the way, I know that you're curious about this. So this is, this is important news that our listeners need to hear. So the average human being ejaculates 3.5 milliliters per per. Yeah, blast. yeah, semen, 3.5 milliliters of semen per ejaculation. That's the average human being. Now, according to this, this random website, the average elephant ejaculates 93.3 milliliters per ejaculation. So say what you want about Freddy Got Fingered, but scientifically accurate. They should play this in high no, schools. that was they a, should not play scientifically this. accurate. There <laughs> was like literally a fire hose of semen <laughs> shooting into Rip Torn's face. Okay, it was literally like liters, gallons... Like gallons, gallons and gallons of semen, not ninety three milliliters of semen. I don't, I don't think that your website's reputable either. <laughs> and who the fuck is measuring elephant semen? <laughs> oh, give me a break! There's somebody somewhere tasting doing that. it. Yeah, yeah, they're eating it. They're just they're, drinking they're, it straight they're, they're, from they're, the they're, source. They're like, mm, uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. So we got to see an elephant penis, a horse penis. Like the elephant penis wasn't real, huh? That wasn't real. The horse penis was real. The you, know, you think that was movie magic? <laughs> I don't know if it was magic, but it was definitely, <laughs> it's definitely not real. <laughs> hey, the 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 horse cock looked pretty real. So hopefully, hopefully that was that wasn't movie magic. We don't get that enough in movies these days. There's not uh, enough horse penis in movies. 
I want horse cocks in all my movies. <laughs> Yeah, Citizen Kane really could have used a horse penis scene. <laughs> yeah, the Wizard, the Wizard of Oz. They shouldn't have cut out that horse cock scene. Okay, so Mar, what, what do you think about the the theory that this movie is like a a big postmodern dissection of the Adam Sandler man child character? I think that's giving Tom Green a enormous amount of credit that is not deserved in any way it's like, it's like people are like it's it's like when something horrible happens people try and like figure out why it happened like, it's like what? how how could this happen why did it happen and this is people trying to do that with this shitty movie <laughs> yeah there's the people out there that say that this movie is like you take the adam sandler man child character which is his staple his bread and butter these movies that make a huge amount of cash. He was the first man child, right? He was one of the greatest of the man children. And Tom Green took that concept and he just stretched it to its absolute limit. What the hell do you think is wrong with the character that he played in this movie? With autism or bipolar? He's like bipolar, Asperger's, and like... Uh, criminally insane. Criminally insane. <laughs> He's a psychopath. <laughs> he is, right? He's just like a psychopath. <laughs> I don't understand how he was able to, to, to just not get arrested. How did he not get arrested? That was the movie magic part of this uh, whole thing, I guess. If I was a farmer and some guy jumped over a fence and started jerking off my horse, I'd probably stab him. Well, what, okay, what do you think about his girlfriend in this movie? She just, she didn't, she didn't care about money, you know. She just wanted to give him a blowjob, and I think that was the real moral takeaway that you can get from this movie. Materialism, you know, is bad, and... You know, you should just get blowjobs. You, you think we? That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's all. <laughs> that's all. That's all it takes, huh? That's it. I don't know. That was definitely a moral, moral takeaway for me. Now, there's so much stuff in this movie that I like. Where do where, where do we begin? Like we we haven't described anything. We, we're just like flying off the handle. <laughs> yeah, I. But what do you? Is, want, we're what we're what not do doing you, a good job as presenters. I don't really give a shit though because what do you? What do you want me to explain? <laughs> give me your notes. About this? Give me give me what your do you notes. Want to explain about this. this. This is the first on the show. I'm gonna read your notes. Yeah, go I, ahead. My, my, well, I don't even know what happened to mine. I think I like threw them away. <laughs> <laughs> you like farted on them and threw them in the trash. You're like <laughs> shock <laughs> humor without censors. <laughs> Physically hurting my eyes. <laughs> no, <you're> <laughs> I guess. I guess at the time it was physically hurting my eyes. Oh, okay. Okay. Movie about Tom Green. Yeah. All right. That we can talk about that. This movie is essentially a hyper stylized version of his own life. I don't even know how stylized it is, other than him being an animator and him not really being an animator in real life. I think that this just is his life, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With all the uh, the horse penises, and he uh, does that. He does that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Doesn't he doesn't he do that? I don't know if he still does that, but uh he definitely was known for it at the time. Do you think he grew up? He grew out of it. <laughs> you think he is just a phase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just going into his horse jerk off phase. <laughs> I uh, see I see you wrote down Rip Torn's ass. Oh, you made, yeah, a, you made a yeah, point about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great scene. Rip Torn pulls down his pants and starts screaming, sweating, <laughs> screaming at Tom Green. There's like sweat coming off his face while he's, sh you know, shoving his ass at Tom How does ass look? Was it sexy in tone? It was Rip Torn's ass, man. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Did you laugh? I don't remember. Were you laughing? At Rip Torn, yeah. Oh, say, so, yeah, you're right. He... Okay, say what you will about this movie. But Rip Torn was great. Rip Torn brought his A game. He came to play with this game, with this movie. Hey, I got a question for you. When does Rip Torn not bring his A game? He was the best part of this movie. There's no hand, hands down. If there's a laugh in this movie, it was Rip Torn. It's like he had all the great the one liners and all like the physical comedy, which is which is weird because Tom Green's doing all this insane bullshit, but uh, Rip Torn comes in and. and just steals it. Yeah, steals, steals, steals it. the show, man. He's a lot more subtle, but he steals it. <laughs> hey, dude, I don't know. The, the scene where he's screaming at Tom Green, shoving his ass in his face, that was unbeatable. I, I, <laughs> I laughed. I laughed at that for like five minutes straight. <laughs> the one part of the movie that I thought was the funniest was when they're like, oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Martin, the movie's called Freddy Got Fingered. How long does it take for actual Freddy getting fingered, all that you stuff? You looked this up, right? It was like 56 minutes in. Yeah. It's almost an hour into an hour and a half long movie that they even yeah. bring it up. <laughs> this movie is... I, I made a note of that. This movie is 88 minutes long, and it isn't until 51 minutes in does anyone say Freddy got fingered or anything having to do with Freddy getting fingered. Hey, it took him that long. That's, that's the only funny physical comedy scene that... That Tom yeah, that, Green does though. That is, is the when, one scene that made me when, laugh is, the most. Is when he's in the therapist's office and throws the freaking statue through the window and jumps out. 
<laughs> that was that was the only funny physical because it was that was actually kind of grounded in reality. So it was it was funny. Yeah, it wasn't so off the wall and surreal and ridiculous like all the other stuff. It was like him being really. in a psychiatrist in, in a therapist's office saying he fingered my brother Freddie. He's like, I gotta get out of here. And he throws, <laughs> like, throws like a bust of Beethoven or something through the window <laughs> and jumps out. <laughs> It was the best they like put in slow motion too. He's like, yeah, <laughs> falling to the stairs. Oh man. What else do you got in there? <laughs> what else? What else you got in there? My notes. What else did you write here? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think of the, the, you, you specifically wrote down here that, uh, <laughs> Tom green delivers baby. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Tom green for better or worse. I don't, I don't know why this woman is, is I guess the hospital systems in Oregon are different than I'm used to, but this this woman's delivering a baby in in like a in like a waiting area in an emergency room. I don't I don't get that. And then he, he it's it's almost like he might as well have just punched her in the uterus and had the baby pop out and then start swinging her around with the umbilical cord <laughs> like like it's uh, like he's gonna lasso a, a, a horse or something. And yes. Then, and then he bite, he bites through the umbilical cord <laughs> like a fucking wolf or something. He's like, just he's like I just bites through the umbilical cord. And uh, and then through movie magic, the next scene, he's got a healthy baby. You so, you enjoyed it. I saw you. You actually laughed at that. You, that's one of the things you laughed at. <laughs> it was funny. It was. The critics did not. They were not pleased. They, they didn't like that specific scene. <laughs> oh no no no! I remember when the movie came out that that one was cited as one of the the shock scenes that they hated. That was that, that was the only that was the only funny one. <laughs> that was the only funny shock scene he did. I don't know what it, what did you think of it? Yeah, I mean. Uh, I, I don't I I don't like any of the stupid shock scenes in this movie. I don't think they're that funny at all. Like I told you, the funniest scene in the movie was when he threw that thing out the window. That's it. Like <laughs> that had nothing to do with gross out humor at all. So I mean, yeah, it's shock humor. The premise of it was so ridiculous though that it was funny. Yeah, Ebert. He I remember he hated that. He didn't like that. Ebert's an old man. Okay, <laughs> not when this movie came out. He was a spring chicken. This, this movie's ten years old. Yeah. What, what are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. He's ten years old. <laughs> he aged a hundred years in ten years. <laughs> I don't uh, get it. Oh, geez. Okay. What else? What? Anything else come to your mind when you're watching this thing? I don't know. I I uh, I I want to know what Tom Green thought of the movie when he finished it. That's a really good question. Like, wh- what does what he did, have to say? What, for what does he have to say for himself? Because he's getting all this negative press, but he's used to that because that's how his show is. Yep. Okay. Does he feed on that? Does he enjoy it? Was was that like his plan? I don't know. Because he's not he's not dumb. He knew that that was going to happen. I know he wrote a book about his life in Hollywood. Maybe he talks about it in there. I don't know. I don't care enough to... I'm not going to read if it. If anyone is out there who's listening to this show and they know what Tom Green had to say about Freddie Got Fingered, email us at yeahitsthatbad at gmail.com. We need to know. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. He definitely knew that he was going to get this kind of reaction. Yeah, or else why do it, right? That's a good. That's actually a really good thought. Was this whole was this this whole movie a meta joke? Well, remember when he did that whole thing when he's uh, he got the press to show up and he's like like he's dating Monica Lewinsky. Oh but yeah, really he's just like oh I'm, we're selling handbags. Remember yeah, that? yeah, I do. Yeah, this could have been just one huge uh, meta is this, joke. Is this just like what? Yeah, like Andy Kaufman style. Mm-hmm. Is this just one joke on everybody where it, he was able to get four million dollars out of? 14 mil whatever Fun. Four, four, 14 mil out it's of a MTV. huge practical joke it's on a, the studio you know and on everybody that watches the movie I yeah. guess mm-hmm. it's a big joke the joke's on you ha ha Tom, Tom Green's the only one laughing so, <laughs> yeah. so, 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 so I'm curious if that's what it is is that is that what he actually thinks about it if that's the case, fuck you. That's that's what I'd say. I hate shit like that. Like that. Hey, hey, we're sitting here reviewing it right now. We've been talking about it for whatever twenty minutes. Yeah. yeah exactly. So so he's he he did fuck you. <laughs> well, no, I, I just I hate that that whole thing of that. Um, you know, people pay money to see you your stuff in a theater. I don't like that whole attitude of like fuck you, audience. You know, I'm gonna really make them squirm. Like I fucking hate these people. I don't like that shit. Like. You know, and yet, and yet, people still keep coming back. People come for back it. for more. Yeah, I don't know. So, a, sometimes, sometimes I'm not going to say that that doesn't work. You know, it can work. You know, there's nothing wrong with pushing an audience to its limits. But you know, people want to be entertained. Come on, some of the shit that he did in this movie, he was doing it for the audience for sure. All of the shock humor that's done because people loved it, especially at that time. Again, this would have worked a lot better in ten minute chunks, not as an eighty eight minute 
feature film. YouTube didn't exist yet. Yeah, he was. He predicted the rise of YouTube. Shut the fuck if, up. If only, <laughs> if only he had been there. If only he had waited ten years. Or no, actually, just um. Four. YouTube came out like in 2005. It's strange because where he is now, he's doing an internet radio show. Yeah. Why? Yeah. But I don't. Again, that's another pioneering thing that he's doing. It is because it's definitely blowing up now. I mean, what are we doing? We're copying Tom Green. We're following in his footsteps. Thanks, Tom Green. You've made it possible for us to review movies. Thank you. We could Thank have you, done wherever you are right now. No, but in all seriousness, I, d- I like Tom Green. I've always liked him. I, I don't have any kind of negative I don't think connotation a- in my mind. Listen, I don't think he's a... I don't. I, I don't dislike him as a person. I li- yeah, I like him as a person. I don't hey, like hey, his hey, movie, listen, but listen. I like him as a person. He's, he's a pretty good skateboarder. That goes a long, long way in my book. Yeah, he really tore it up in the beginning of the, in the movie here. He did. That was really cool. You, you said he did all his stunts in this movie, right? Yeah, I think he did all the skating himself. Uh, maybe I'll put that in the uh, the show notes. We'll get a clip of uh, Tom Green. Hey, you, you, you know what I'm curious about? I bet it is real, but was he using like real dead animals? I don't know. Was PETA happy about this movie? Ah, I mean, I'm sure they weren't. I'm sure PETA probably shit their pants when they saw him jerking off a horse or whatever. <laughs> off an but I mean, was was it like an actual dead deer? Did he kill a deer or did he just find roadkill? Fuck, that's a great. <sighs> did Did he just find roadkill? I want to believe. I want, like Mulder, I want to believe. There's a poster of Tom Green, Tom Green. with a fucking deer, deer body on him. Yeah, no, I, got I a want post- to believe. Yeah, I got a poster of Tom Green like jerking off a horse. I want to believe <laughs> this really happened. <laughs> I mean, if, if this movie was controlled by Tom Green, that uh, I would say, knowing how he behaves, that yeah, he, he found roadkill and cut it up. <laughs> and then he just wore it and crawled around on the ground. You know, the last Tom Green related thing I saw was uh, when he went to the uh, the ICP show, the Gathering of the Juggalos. He went to that show where Tila Tequila got assaulted and got hit with rocks and you the Juggalos that, threw rocks you, at her. You, you said that he parted the audience like a golden god. They loved him. They, they He was at home with the Juggalos. When, when they showed him walking around, they were like, oh, Tom Green, it's Tom Green. Wow, wow, Tom Green. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're his people. I don't know if I'd want that life. You got to take your audience where you can. You can't shun away the people that like you, no matter who they are. Even if they're Juggalos? Doesn't matter. I There's a group. A page view is a page view, you know? If there's any Juggalos out there listening to this, Fuck you. You know what? Fuck you. I'm going to tell that to you right now. As a, <laughs> I, have, I, have a long, I have long uh, ties to the Juggalo community. <laughs> <laughs> Joel's drinking a Fago right now. I am. <laughs> I'm spraying Fago all over the room. Right now. <laughs> Joel's got a Hatchet Man tattoo mm, back, mm, back mm. mural. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But no, I will not sit by and listen to ICP bashing on my show. Absolutely not. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on to something else. What did you think Tom Green thought of the Miracles music video? I'm sure he endorsed it completely. Well, he went to the fucking the Gathering of the Juggalos, so he must have liked it. It Was was that video like a, a joke on us also? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It was. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a lot of people that aren't sure. No, uh, no. You if you if you knew anything about those guys, they're a lot smarter than you think they are. That's definitely a joke. I mean, that's it. I think we've exhausted. Uh, exhausted. Freddy got fingered. It's all right. Look, is bot- it, this is a plotless movie. Bottom, it has no structure. Bottom, bottom line, it's it's yeah. It has no structure. It's just a bunch of clips strewn together of him jerking off animals. Well, okay. Let's talk about the uh, let's let's do our hot or not segment. Like, what do you think of the uh, the girlfriend? You know that I went and looked up to see if she was actually in a wheelchair, and she she was not. Ah, oh, fooled you. Yeah, movie magic. Strange yeah, again. movie magic. This this movie. Hey, by the way, this movie is so full of magic. Yeah, movie magic. Yep. There's the, fairy dust just dripping off the the, the, the FX in this movie. Unreal. In any case, um, no, she was she was hot, man. She was really hot. Yeah, I thought she was pretty cute. I I, I don't know about beating legs with a bamboo cane. I don't know if I find that hot. She just wants to she just give wants you blowjobs all the time. She just wants to suck your dick, though. Yeah, so that's a plus. And she's, she's got a rocket wheelchair. That's also kind of cool. And here's a question. Let's make it a little insensitive, but uh, if you're a para... Wait, well, no, she's not a paraplegic. She's... No, a, she's... Yeah, she is. Paras 2? Paras 2. Quadra, Quadra is four. 4. Okay, yeah, so she's, if she's paraplegic, if, she if you had feel? sex with her, would you, she even feel it? It depends on uh, which vertebra is, uh, I guess, where the break is. Hmm. 
uh, where she was paralyzed. Mm. I think if you're above L3 in your uh, lumbar curve, then no, your 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 sex organs don't work. Because she still had sexual desire in the movie, for sure. She did, but if I think the nerve that branches off to your genitals is above L3. Well, there's, I guess. there's five bones in your lumbar, by the way. Yes. Okay, well... Somebody, is there, if there's a doctor listening to this, <laughs> why why are we asking these questions? Like, fuck that. If there's a doctor listening to this, let me I know. I want to know if she could feel it. Yeah, when, really feel it. Yeah, when Tom Green was having sex with her, if he was even having sex. He with wasn't. Her. She just sucked his dick. Mm-hmm. 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 That's what I want to believe. Okay. All right. I want. <laughs> I want. I want to believe. Yeah, that they had sex. Okay, I've had about enough of. <laughs> I've had, I've had just it. about enough with this movie. I'm done with this. Shit. I'm All right, let's let's shit. see what the real critics have to say, and I don't have to look far because <laughs> it's used as an advertising piece on the DVD. Yeah, there's the there's like a little insert in the DVD, <laughs> and they have all the reviews on it. So there's here's the good review. Like it or not, Tom Green is an artist. The New York Times. Hmm, not bad. And here's the bad review. <laughs> Appalling, tasteless, poo poo. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Who who gave that review? Poo poo. Filmcritic.com said poo poo. <laughs> That's the kind of review I would give. Okay. Offensive, gross, stay away. A piece of crap, a vomitorium, and tragically awful. All right. That, that pretty much sums it up. Can you imagine calling a movie a vomitorium? Ebert said that. I know for a Did fact he? Ebert said that. That's, that's Ebert? Yeah. Has <laughs> Ebert has Ebert should visit a vomitorium. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so critics unanimous. <laughs> I think we were unanimous. Martin, eleven percent Rotten Tomatoes. Is it really that bad? Yeah, this movie's fucking horrible. <laughs> 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 Would you recommend it to your friends and family? No, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. Stay away. <laughs> poo poo. <laughs> oh, that is such a great review. <laughs> poo poo. <laughs> Poo-poo. Yeah, that's, that's all it takes. All right, all right, as for me, yes, uh, I agree. I don't like this movie. I think it's bad. <laughs> it's not worth seeing in any shape or form. Not even the uh, the three-minute long cut they have in the DVD. That's stupid. Everything is stupid. Don't buy <laughs> Avoid this movie. If you want to watch Tom Green, watch, like, I'm sure the Tom Green show is on DVD. You know, relive that if you want to watch that. Or just fucking watch it online and pirate it. Yeah, what, what, well... I don't know. Let's get let's toss some some dollars Tom Green's way. So go buy the DVDs, you know. He 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 needs the help. All right, so fuck this movie. What'd you get one out of five? One. What? <laughs> Why would you ask me such a ridiculous question? <laughs> I, <laughs> you you've changed. When we saw the movie, you gave it a two initially. Yeah, and uh, upon further inspection, and then I also had an <laughs> introspection. I meditated. <laughs> I get it, drop it to a one. Well, after I watched the movie, I dropped down to my knees and I genuflected. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to myself, all right, all right. This, I was going to give it a two, but you know what? I don't think I ever want to watch this again. One. My first one. My first one on this show. Woo. Ouch. Yeah. It's that bad. It's that bad. Yes, this this really is that bad. If I ever watch this again, it's going to be like one of those situations where I I put like a friend through the torture chamber and be like, let's see how long you can handle uh, this movie. Hey, there's a by, by the way, there's an image of Tom Green on the cover of this DVD and it looks like he's doing like a an artist like where you put your hands and make a square with your thumbs. Like he's making fingers. a frame, like, like he's, he's framing out frame. the shot. What the fuck is he like what what does that mean? What does that have to do with the movie? I don't I don't get that. Usually on the cover of DVD, they have an image that that try that deals with the overall movie, whatever. <laughs> Stop showing me the back. This is fucking disgusting. Oh, the, the fucking cheese factory. I forgot about that. <laughs> like stupid ass cheese factory. This it's it's such a. Uh, I fucking hate the DVD cover too. Yeah. All right. <laughs> as as well. Wow, this movie really pushed us to our <laughs> pushed us to our absolute limits. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, that's it. Freddy got fingered. Yes, it really is that bad. Okay, hopefully by the time you're listening to this show, we should have been picked up by iTunes. Hopefully, so if that's the case, leave us a review on iTunes. We really need it. We need the support. So, if you're listening to this show, please go to our website. 
You can listen to the past episodes. I highly recommend you listen to the Uninvited. That's a good oh, show. Yeah, that was a good one. That's a really good episode. I highly recommend you listen to that one. And you can follow us on Twitter or Facebook. And uh, you can send us an email if you want to. If you want to suggest a movie for us to watch next, or if you have something to say, you disagree, or if you love this movie, you know, send us an email. Tell us what you think. Yeah, if you if you love this movie, I want a full explanation as to why. Like full explanation. Oh yeah. <laughs> so our email is yeah, it's that bad at gmail.com. So, there you go. I think that's it. So tune in next time. The next movie we're going to watch is Gamer starring Gerard Butler. He's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The ladies the ladies <laughs> love him. <laughs> All right, see you next time. <laughs>